Today on Herbert's interviews, we will be interviewing the director and founder of The Storytellers. Hello there, Mrs. Gross. Welcome to the show. We are so excited to be talking to a slideshow master. Are you all right, Mrs. Gross? If you think that you are ready, we'll get started now. Uh, yes, our first question is, do you feel like it's fair to compare yourself to other directors? Do I feel like I can compare myself to directors? <laughs> yeah. I mean... It might be hard to see how similar I am to people like uh, Tim Burton and Steven Spielberg, but I am. It's really um, it's as simple as software. You know, my software costs sixty dollars, and um, Steven Spielberg's software, you know, it probably costs like three times as much as that. So, you know, it's really just about uh, special effects and gimmicks. I don't have access to those, so my uh, my creations are raw material, and uh, I think you could easily say I'm a director. I direct things. Very good. How would you say you got your start in this business? I'm sorry, I, I didn't understand that question. Oh, forgive me. I said, how did you get your start in this business? How did I get my start? Oh, yeah, I'm really glad you asked that because uh, it's a good story. Yeah, it's, um, it's a while back. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was downloading some photos onto my computer and I saw it had this, this uh, slideshow option. I think it was called a video option. Uh, so I clicked on it. Before you know it, I had <laughs> I had a slideshow, and it was set to music. But I mean, it's like uh, starting at the bottom rung, you know. I mean, we're talking like below ground level <laughs> for my start, you know. And and it's just blown up, you know. My slideshow business. I mean, I have now. I have my own website. I mean, it's got. Sometimes it has these little. Uh, commercials that pop up because I haven't been able to uh, upgrade to the uh, $10 a month plan. Right now I'm at the free so there's a lot of those ads but uh, that's not how it's going to be. I'm upgrading. This is the real thing. Oh, you seem very confident. Since your business appears to be so well established, are you having any plans now for retiring? No, no, I, no way. Uh, I'm not the retiring sort. I like working. You know, uh, I wish I could say I was the kind of person that's like, uh, I got my money, got my business established. I'm gonna go sit on a beach and drink margaritas. But that's not the kind of person I am. No, I like working. You know, and to be honest with you, uh, uh, storytellers, it's a uh, it really hasn't turned a, a profit yet, but um, if it did, <laughs> I'd still be making slideshows. I mean, I would be making slideshows and montage for the rest of my life. Uh, it's, it's like, for me, working, it's like I got a fire in my pants. And the only way to put that fire out is to make slideshows. So, uh, I don't see myself retiring anytime soon. <laughs> I really don't see how I could retire making slideshows. It's uh, there's really not a lot of profit in it, to be honest. It's about the passion. It's my art. Well then, in your humble opinion, what do you think the future of the storytellers holds for us all? 
Oh, we've got big plans for the future. Uh, we aren't stopping. We're going global. We are gonna we're gonna globalize slideshow montage, advertising and storytelling. I've given a lot of thought to that, and uh, I'm a little worried about as far as like, like South Africa, for example. I, I mean, I I'm not sure how to access them because they don't necessarily have computers. Or food, but um, you know when I say so when I say global, I'm thinking like the world of people who have computers, and that's the future of uh, storytellers. We're gonna globalize it in the sense that anyone who has a computer and wants a slideshow, we're gonna find them. And we're going to sell them our product. Global. Global. Thank you so much, Mrs. Gross, for being here with me, Marie Harbert, here on Harbert's Interviews.